Heiner says, are you guys ready for another anatomy and physiology discussion? Yes. For today, we are going to have male reproductive system. If you want to know more about that, stay tuned. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Neil Gavin. I'm a registered nurse and I do have a degree in medical surgical nursing. I create nursing educational videos to help nursing students like you and nursing professionals like you with your studies. If that's something that you are interested in, consider subscribing. If you are already subscribed though, thank you so much for your love and support. I see you. I upload my nursing educational videos two to three times in a week, so don't miss that out. Subscribe now, hit the notification bell so that you will be the very first to watch my newest uploads. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends friends because I would really happen now that you like to see more contents like this. Without further ado, you ready? Let's do this. Good day everybody. Are you ready for another anatomy and physiology discussion? Yes. For today, we are going to discuss your male reproductive system. This is one of the contents in my channel where I created uh, re nursing reviewers in regards to your anatomy and physiology. If you haven't watched the other anafi lectures I did, I'll be putting it on the description box or just simply click this icon button right here okay but for today we are going to discuss a thorough discussion about your male repro excited ka na ba? i am too so in order for me to do that i will need to switch back to my pc and i'll see you guys in a bit all right so hi everyone welcome to our formal discussion ng yung male reproductive system anatomy and physiology so this is another um study material para sa iyo sa pag-aaral mo ng iyong anatomy and physiology now Simulan na natin ang ating discussion with our objectives for today. Now, we're gonna have the internal structures and external structures of your male repro. Handa ka na ba? Let's begin. Alright, so internal structures. Under dito sa ating internal structures, we are going to discuss the epididymis, vas deferens, seminal vesicles, ejaculator ducts, prostate gland, bulbo-uretral glands, at ang iyong uretra. Alright, isa-isahin natin to, you guys. Now, internal structures, epididymis or epididymis. Whatever. Alright. So, ano nga bang ating epididymis, you guys? Now, this is a tightly coiled tube that is responsible for conducting the sperm from the tubule to the vas deferens. It has a length of approximately 20 feet long. Some sperm are stored in the epididymis along with the semen. The sperm takes an estimated 12 to 20 days of travel along the epididymis and a total of 64 days to reach maturity. Alright, so I'm really trying to be visual here para meron kang clear reference kung ano ang yung epididymis. Ito siya guys, oh. tapos microscopic niya ito. Alright, now let's proceed. What is your vas deferens? Now the function of the vas deferens is to carry the sperm through the inguinal canal from the epididymis into the abdominal cavity where it will end at the seminal vesicles and the ejaculate duck or the ejaculatory duct excuse me now it is a hollow tube that is protected by a thick fibrous coating and surrounded by arteries and veins now internal structures is a pa seminal vesicles ano po ito these are two convoluted pouches along the lower portion of the posterior surface of the bladder the seminal vesicles secrete a liquid that is viscous and alkaline and has high protein sugar and prostaglandin content which makes the sperm increasingly motile. Alright, next up, ejaculatory ducts. Ang bilis, de ba? Okay. Now, these ducts pass through the prostate gland to join the seminal vesicles and the urethra. Ito po siya, oh, yung seminal vesicle mo. Ito siya. Alright, now let's proceed. Prostate gland. Ano naman ito? Now, this is a chestnut sized gland that is situated below the bladder. Eto siya, you guys. Eto siya. Ayan yung mga picture. Now, it secretes a thin alkaline fluid that adds protection to the sperm from being immobilized by the low pH level of the urethra. The urethra passes through its center like a donut. 
Alright? I hope malinaw yun sa'yo. Now, Bulbo Uretra Glands. Ano po ito? May idea ka na? Narinig mo na siya? O, oh, ito siya. Now, this is also called copper's gland. These glands also secrete alkaline fluid to counteract the acidic environment in the urethra. These are two glands located at either side of the prostate gland and seminal vesicles and empty through the short ducts towards the urethra. Semen is a product of 60% from the prostate gland, 30% from the seminal vesicles, 5% from the epididymis, and 5% from the bulbo urethral glands. All right, last Last up, internal structure mo, uretra. Ano nga bang yung uretra, you guys? Alright, eto na siya. Now, when you talk about your uretra, this is a structure passes through the prostate gland towards the shaft and glands penis. This is a hollow tube from the base of the bladder and lined with a mucous membrane. It has a length of approximately 8 inches or 18 to 20 centimeters. All right, tapos na tayo sa internal structures, you guys. This is very quick. All right. So bago tayo magproceed, gusto ko lang kayong i-invite na panoorin niyo yung other nating discussion sa anatomy and physiology, ha. Um if you haven't uh watched the other anatomy and physiology discussion, I actually created t- Tons and tons of nursing educational content in regards to your um, anafi. So I'll be putting the 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 descri- uh, the link on the description box or pag nag pop out yung link jan sa icon button, iklik mo yon, makakatulong yun sa pag-aaral mo. And don't worry because we're gonna discuss more about or we're gonna have more videos in regards to your anafi. Also, you guys, I have tons of videos related to nursing all educational contents hinihikayat kita na panoorin mo yun kasi baby loves makakatulong yun sa'yo or tulungan mo ko na ipakalat para mas lalo pang ma- marami yung makaalam at ma- alam mo yun ma-refresh at matuto alright now proceed na tayo external structures po scrotum ano yung scrotum mo tatalakayin natin yan sa mga susunod na slides didiscuss din natin part I cut part na external structures mo rin e yung testes at penis. Handa ka na? O, oh, eto na to. External structures, scrotum. Ano nga bang yung scrotum? Ano nga ba ituwi? Okay, so... So the scrotum is responsible for the support of the testes and it regulates the temperature of the sperm. Mm-hmm. It is a rugated, muscular, skin-covered pouch over the perineum. To promote the production and viability of the sperm, the scrotum contracts towards the body during towards the body during a very cold weather and relaxes away from the body during a hot weather. Mm-hmm. Alam mo yung kumukulubo tapos uh, lumalawlaw, ayun po ang iyong scrotum. Depende sa panahon. Yes! Kasi nga nire-regulate niya yung temperature ng ating testes para ma-maintain yung viability ng iyong sperm. Alright, next up, testes. Malapit na tayo matapos. Okay, so when you talk about your testes, Nasa katawan ng lalaki, anatomically, in each scrotum lies two oval-shaped glands called the testes. These are two to three centimeters in width and are encapsulated in a protective white fibrous capsule. Several lobules are contained in each testes, which also contains Leydig's cell that produce testosterone and seminiferous tubules that produce spermatozoa. In most men, one testis is slightly lower than the other to prevent trauma and easily sit or do any muscular activity. You guys, so pag sinabing hindi daw pantay ang baya, gagaya nitong picture na to, ganun talaga anatomically, hindi talaga siya pantay. Kasi nga, this will prevent trauma and easily and, you know, ease of movement para sa mga kalalakihan. Mm-hmm. So, normal po na hindi pantay talaga. Huwag magtaka. Okay. Now, last one, penis. Ang paborito. Charing. Uh, ito na to. Ito na to. Ha? Uh, walang ba? Walang bastos. Okay. The penis has three parts. Two are called the corpus cavernosa and the other is the corpus spongiosum. 
I'm not really quite sure if I pronounced that right, but that's the spelling. You let me know if I pronounce it right, okay? On the comment section below. Now, these erectile tissues also contain the urethra, making the penis an outlet for both urinary and reproductive functions. Yes, unlike sa female reproductive system, kung saan iba yung daanan ng ihe at yung um, reproductive, um, what's this, reproductive uh, uh, route, or iba yung reproductive da daanan ng regla, mga ganyan, o baapta, or for sexual intercourse. Sa male, iisa lang po ang butas ng, iisa lang yung daanan ng ihe at reproductive um, track you know, yung labasa ng semen. Kaya ako yung nasabi kasi nag-create din ako ng discussion about sa female reproductive system. So, kung hindi mo yung napapanood, ako panoorin mo yun after nito, okay? Now, erection of the penis is stimulated by the parasympathetic nerve interventions and the blood supply for the penis is from the penile artery. You guys, so, hindi po sympathetic effect or sympathetic nerve ang ang nag nag interv ang nangyayari kapag tayo ay nagkakaroon ng erectile um erection erectile erection but ng erection you know it's actually parasympathetic effect why remember sa parasympathetic effect you guys everything goes down except for GI and GU and nasaan ba itong uh, male rep mo hindi ba under siya ng GU genito urinary kaya pala mas relax mas relax ang lalaki ganyan wow charot ay lang napasok ko lang next the glands are sensitive Cut. The glands a sensitive sensitive cut. The glands a sensitive bulging ridge of tissue is located at the distal part of the penis. The prepuce, which is a retractable casing of skin, protects the glands at birth. It also the part that is surgically removed during circumcision. Oh, di ba? Oh, ayon na yon. So you guys, tapos na tayo sa ating discussion in. Thank you, thank you so much for all the love and support. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more nursing educational videos. Let me know po if you have other nursing topics that you want us to do. Comment it down on the comment section below. Abangan nyo po yung mga next video natin regarding sa anatomy and physiology and other nursing contents na gagawin ko in the future. You know what guys, we've been really, really growing and I really want to grab this opportunity to thank you who are watching right now, who are listening right now. Right now, maraming maraming salamat sa iyo because you are making my dream come true. Ang gusto ko lang naman po eh makatulong ako sa mga estudyante at sa mga nursing professionals na mga registered nurse natin sa Pilipinas sa pagre-refresh ng iyong knowledge, okay? So help me out, spread the news about my channel and yeah, I'll see you again next time. You guys stay safe. Thank you so much you guys for watching. I hope you learned something. Help me grow my channel. You are already here. You might as well subscribe. Hashtag Team cool Talk. Give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends. Let me know what you guys think. You put them down in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to check out the other playlists I created for you. I'll be putting the links on the description box or simply click this icon button right here. Let's connect. Follow me on all my other social media accounts. Everything is at Neil Gavia. See you again.